On April 24, 2022, after the conclusion of the first championship in Houston, Texas, first released a bunch of teasers regarding the 2022-2023 FLL season, Super Powered. Included in these teasers was a short video previewing the field for this next season. Here's the video for those who have not seen it yet. This video gave us a quick look at the missions and field for the next season. One of the immediate things we, as well as many others, noticed was that the field has two launch areas. One in the southwest corner of the field, as per past seasons, but then an additional one in the southeast corner. We believe that the addition of a second launch area is an attempt to reduce the drive distance between home base and the mission models. In the past seasons, attempting missions on the far side of the table was risky because your robot could become misaligned on the long drive to the mission. But with two launch areas, this distance would be much shorter and would make all the missions more easily accessible. Other Twitter posts have confirmed that teams will still be running one robot, but may have up to four drivers at the table for a match, allowing for more team members to participate in matches. We believe that teams will be allowed to use both areas interchangeably throughout the match in order to launch the robot closer to the missions that they are trying to complete. As we have seen in previous years, this year's challenge seems to have one color LEGO piece to represent the part of the mission model that must be interacted with. In City Shaper, the so-called action color was blue. In Cargo Connect, it was yellow. And in this coming year, based on the pictures and videos we have seen, the action color will be red. So with these basic reactions out of the way, let's break down all the missions on next season's field. We will be going from left to right in order to keep things organized. Let's start off with this yellow mission on the far left of the field. We are calling this mission the gas truck mission, as in the video we see a clip of this mission and then a short clip of a real life gasoline truck. In the quick snippet shown of this mission, we see two small black barrel pieces rolling down a ramp and into the truck. We believe that teams will have to push down the red bar on the right side of the mission in order to dispense the barrels. After the barrels go down the ramp and are loaded into the truck, teams must then pull away the truck as seen in the next clip. Now let's move on to the mission to the right of the last one. Unfortunately, we didn't get much footage of this mission, so we have no clue what it's about. Based on the fact that the red action piece is close to the mat, we think that teams will have to pull them out in a similar fashion to the high five mission we will talk about later. If you have any idea how this mission will be completed or what this mission may be, let us know in the comments. Next, let's hop over to the right and take a closer look at the solar panel field. Here, the mat displays a solar panel field which has three circles in it. In these circles stand small assemblies that we believe to be the main game piece of this season like cargo was last season. We believe that these pieces will be called energy or energy canisters or something of that sort, and that they will be distributed throughout the field either in mission models or just on the mat like seen here. Next, let's shift gears to the large mission on the middle left part of the field. This mission is featured quite a bit in the video as well as additional pictures on Twitter. We call this mission the hydroelectric dam. As seen in this picture, there is one energy canister sitting in the bottom of the mission, as well as a similar blue canister at the top. We believe that the blue canisters represent water. 
In the clip of the video, we see the bar holding the water lifted and the water rolling down the ramp, knocking the energy canister out as it swaps places with it. We think that this represents the turning of water movement into energy, just like in hydroelectric power plants. You may also notice that there are three other water canisters sitting next to the mission. These are shown again later in the video, being hung up on the red pins towards the back of the mission model. We think that the waters must either be hung or potentially put into the lake underneath these hooks in order to score points and refill the water supply. Now let's follow the river towards the top of the mat once again. Here is the mission that we nicknamed High Five. This will be this season's cooperation mission, meaning that if both tables complete this mission during a match, bonus points will probably be awarded. To complete this mission, teams must pull the red beams on the mat back towards them in order to move the hand over the edge of the table. This mission seems very simple and will likely be awarded many points if both tables complete it. Next, let's pop down to the bottom center of the table. We have a fairly good visual of this mission, but its construction has still confused us on how it is meant to be completed. We believe that the red lever on the north side of the mission will be either pressed down or lifted in order to release the energy canisters down the orange ramps, where they will then roll into both home bases in order to be used by teams elsewhere later in the match. There is also a third energy canister on the model, but we aren't exactly sure how teams will release this one. Possibly there are two different red levers, but none of the footage of this mission is clear enough to say that for sure. Based on the fact that this mission is on a picture of a nuclear power plant, we believe that this is what this mission is representing. Now, let's drift up and to the right to the mission in the middle right of the field. This mission is only covered briefly, but due to its shape we can assume what teams must do in order to solve it and score. We believe that the red funnel on top will be used to put energy canisters into. Teams will have to put either one or more canisters in the top in order to release a small dinosaur looking model. We aren't quite sure what to do with this tiny dino model yet, but we might have some ideas that we will talk about later, so stick around for those theories. Next, let's swipe up and even further to the right for the electric car mission. We nicknamed this the electric car mission because it is shown after a clip of an electric car being plugged in and charged. In the short snippet we get to see the back piece of this mission being lifted in order to release the car on the ramp as well as another energy piece. This is another mission that we think teams will be able to solve with relative ease. Now on to our second to last mission, the wind turbine. It is quite obvious what this mission model represents and as seen in the picture on Twitter it holds three energy canisters. We believe, based on the location of the red action piece, as well as the gears we can see in the picture, that Teams' robots will have to again pull in order to release the canisters and spin the turbine. It is possible that Teams will have to do this only once, or potentially three times in order to get all three canisters. This is the third mission that we believe will require some sort of pulling action, so be prepared to have attachments that can do that action. And finally, the last mission, the TV mission. This mission is featured only very briefly, but it's enough for us to find out what needs to be done in order to complete it. We believe that teams will have to program their robots to push in the couch and flip up the TV. Yet again, a very simple and close to base mission that teams should be able to complete. But some might be wondering, what about the green thing on the east side of the table? While only featured shortly, we believe this to be a model of a dinosaur. We have no clue what this has to do with next year's theme, or what to do with it, but we think that teams may have to reunite the tiny dinosaur that comes from the mission with the red funnel with the larger dinosaur, but we have no further ideas than that, so if you have any ideas, we would love to know and leave them in the comments below. And finally, we believe that teams will have to place all of the energy canisters they collected throughout the whole match inside the big circle in the middle of the field in order to distribute the power throughout the power grid. The more canisters in the center, the more points earned at the end of the match. That concludes our breakdown of Super Powered, the 2022-2023 first LEGO League Challenge game review. What do you think of this season's themes and the missions that were shown? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. See you in August for the kickoff, and best of luck to all teams this coming season.